Hey everyone, today we're doing a flashback Zendikar draft. Um, yeah, cube is, cube is offline unfortunately, the vintage cube. Legacy cube is coming up next week, so in between we're going to do a Zendikar league and we're going to start right now. Alright, let's see what we have here. What's this? Open your hand. That's really good. It's a good card. Zendikar is a super, super, super fast format. Like you want to hit your your uh, you want to hit your two drops and into three drops. You don't want to miss. Uh, you don't want to uh, miss any uh, creature creature drop. This card is pretty good though. The problem is that all the really good cards in the pack are black. This is bad if I remember. Yeah. So the specter is really good. This figure is very very good. This is again a, a quick format and all, most of the creatures are very small. Giant Scorpion, very very good, blocks almost everything well and will usually just trade. Spire Barrage is fine if you're playing Heavy Red and Survivalist is really good in the um, ally, in ally deck. It's a, it gets another counter whenever you play another ally. I think I'm just going to try this uh, Spectre. I th it looks good. So yeah, I'm going to try that. Alright, so... A few options here. Um... Woodcrusher is very strong. The problem is green is not amazing here. Inferno Trap is also pretty nice. I think it's the better card. And Black Red is good. Uh, Blade Tusk Boar is also very good. Core Skyfisher is also fine. Even Bloodseeker is okay. Into the Rowell is okay. I think I'm going to take the Inferno Trap. Uh, this. This is a very good card, but green is a little underpowered in the original Zendikar. It's fine, it's not bad, but I think the Inferno Top is just a little better. It's an instant, it deals so damage which deals with, with most creatures, so yeah, I think I'm just going to take that. Alright, wow. So a few very good uh, cards here. Um, Harrow is really good. Uh, yeah, it just fixes your mana, it gets you two lands, which is extremely important. You saw you have landfall creatures in this format, so getting two lands is extremely good. Other two options are the Mosquito, which is fine. 2-2 two, two flying for 4 is okay, but the kicker is the real kicker. Just destroy a target creature, it's good. The other option is Mind Sludge, um, which is fine. It's not bad, it's fine. There's also the Refuge here. I think I'm going to take the Mosquito. I don't know, well, Mind Sludge, Mind Sludge is good, and if you can get to like turn f 5 with like 4 swamps or something, just discard their entire hand is good. I think, uh, I don't know, this is actually pretty close. Mosquito is not amazing, I think I'd just still rather have the removal spell. Okay, this is great. So, so 4, 5, 6, let's say 7. Not in front of the power. River Boa, jeez. That's a very, very good card. It's one of the better two drops in the set. Feels like green is open, but getting this Inferno Trap this late is also extremely good. So we have four cards, and three of them actually deal with creatures. And this is just value. It's a good opening. Let's hope it's going to keep going like that. Okay, another Mosquito. Nice. Explorer Scope. Not as bad as I thought. Um, I remember when, that we didn't played that much when we were actually playing Zendikar itself. This quest isn't doing much right. Remove from the source of deal damage. Yeah, it's not that good. The This rare is not really interesting. I'm going to take the Mosquito and try and find some early early drops. Um, we did pass one Goblin Bushwhacker, I think. So that's fine. Mulchamber is okay. I don't think I want Expedition Maps. Two pretty good White cards and Gomozo is also pretty nice. It's actually a pretty strong pack. I'm gonna take this Spire Barrage. We might play like enough mountains. Might. Oh wow! Wow! This is one of the better cards in the format. Uh, this really shouldn't be seventh pick. This is such a strong card. This has chosen also, by the way, very very good. But this card is sick. Woo! Very happy about that. Very very happy about that. Alright, I'm going to take this Ravager over Grim Discovery, and this is also fine. The Merfolk Sea Stalkers, just tapping stuff, but 
You don't really want to spend your mana just tapping stuff in this format. I'm going to take the Ravager because we might play enough uh, enough red and get a second Spire Barrage. Okay. Yeah, that's not good enough. We're not going to play Expedition Map. I'm going to take another Spire Barrage. We might play just like now we just might play 10, just 10 mountains. Sure. Let's take the Black Land. Okay. So. I don't really want to play 10, 10 mountains because we have a uh, double black card, double black card, and two maybe double black cards. The thing is that with Ravager and two Spire Barrage, we might just be, we maybe we might just play like 18 lands because of these, and then like 10, 8. Um, this card isn't good, right? Yeah, I'm just going to cut this white card. So this is a pretty good opening. We have two really good removals. Two creatures that can get value, a board sweeper, cards that I'm not sure we're going to play, a decent rare. We just need some more early game. Uh, I'm just going to cut the red card. And sure. Oh, this, is a, this has nice art, I guess. Okay, I don't want to play Trickster, it's not good enough. Punishing Fire, Burst Lightning. Diabolist and Giant Scorpion, all are pretty good. Um, so Punishing Fire is great, I don't think we have a way... Well... Opponent, my, our opponent is not going to gain too much life usually, so Burst Lightning is probably better than Punishing Fire. So the question is, do we want Burst Lightning or do we want the Giant Scorpion? Um, because we have a lot of removal, I actually think I want the Giant Scorpion. Burst Lightning is a premium removal, it's really really good, but we need some things to do early, earlier in the game. And Giant Scorpion is just super super good. And if we pass the Burst Lightning, maybe we'll be lucky enough to get the Punishing Fire. And also, by the way, Adventuring Gear is very good. Um, maybe we'll just wheel one of the other Diabolist, Punishing Fire, Adventuring Gear, Bloodseeker. Well, probably not Burst Lightning, one of these five. I just really think we need something to hold the ground. Okay, Hideous End is really good. Celestial Mental is... Whew. It's a very good card also. Trusty Machete is great. Vampire's Body is a good trick. I think it's either the Machete or Hideous End. Both good. Hideous End is a premium removal, obviously. We have a few removals already. Trusty Machete is very good on our Mosquitoes. Yeah, I think Machete is the pick here. Just because we have uh, smaller creatures, it's just very, very good. Um, okay, so here, another get. This card is just very good, Grazen Glade Heart. But I'm just going to take this uh, creature. It's fine, it can deal some more damage, and it can deal some damage to an opponent. Windbuster is okay, but not amazing. I'm just going to take this Mongol. And whoa, whoa! This is one of the better cards in Zendikar, and I'm gonna take it. Hope we can wield this vampire. This vampire is very good, but yeah, Geopit is just nuts. All right, another Glade Heart. Jeez, we could have had like three. This card is super, super good. Okay, so this guy. We only have one ally, I think, like, this would be our first ally, sorry. It's either that or Diabolist. Um, I don't really know. Both of them are kind of meh. I guess we take the Pyromancer, it might be a little better. We don't really have a lot of allies, that's the problem. But maybe we can pick up a few more. Alright. Pyromancer's Ascension. Okay, well. I don't think it's worth anything. I'm just going to take this Marauder. It's actually a pretty decent card. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take this Marauder. It's a 2-drop. It's decent. Whoa! I mean, I, I saw this Berserker and I was kind of happy because it's another ally and 2-drop. But then I saw this GOP and I slammed the GOP. And the ball, wow. 
Okay, well, this deck is going places. And this guy will. Okay, well, we have a decent deck. We already have 18 playables. We might have to cut some cards, maybe these two. Maybe one Spire Barrage, maybe one Mosquito. We have some cuts that we can do. Marsh, Marsh, Marsh Casualties is very good. So, yeah, seems pretty good. How many removals do we have? I'll take the Vampire, but this is actually a pretty decent trick. Might play that. Especially with two Geopids. Um, sure, I'm just gonna take this Demolish. Maybe we'll side it in. And... Spreading Seeds, sure. For male folks in uh, Modern. Whatever. So, removals. We have Double Inferno Trap, Marsh Casualties, and four Clan Care removals. Yeah. We passed Hideous End and uh, Punishing Fire with uh, Burst Lightning in the same uh, pack. But we took the Giant Scorpion over the Punishing Fire slash Burst Lightning and Machete over the Hideous End. I think these are okay picks. Wow. So now that we have three allies, maybe we don't cut as many. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we just cut a few Spire Barrages. Um, I'm just gonna cut the swamp. T take the swamp, actually. This is a league. So, cutting doesn't mean so much. And this is, you know, a full art land. We can do stuff with it, like... I don't know, put it in your decks and then be happy. So what do you want to open? Other than like foil scouting tons. Good mob is a really good good card. Unfortunately we are not green. We don't really have anything that we really want to play. Um we do we have any vampires? I don't think so. This is a Spectre. This is Ogre Human. Ogre Shaman Ally. We don't really have vampires, so this is actually unplayable in our deck. Um, this is not good enough. This is fun and amazing. This is probably the Shepherd of the Lost is probably the best card in the pack. But we're obviously not white. Step Link's also good. Owen Rift Survival is very good. And Raptor is also pretty fine. I would love to play, play this Scoot mob, but yeah. I guess we just take this Modern Ravager. It's fine. It's another thing to do early. Ooh. Alright, alright. Now we're talking. So Gatekeeper is great. But it's gonna be hard for us to get to triple black. Gazer Glider is also very good, but we have a lot of five drops already. All of these creatures are both of them are really good. I think I'm gonna take this great gatekeeper because it's just a little earlier. It, it's just like it costs less. Even if we just play it as a two two four two, it's fine. Gazer Glider is a very good card though. It's basically an, an, an elemental. It's another way to win that we're kind of missing right now. Oh, we have two Geopids. Ugh. I guess we take the Gatekeeper. That was actually close. Alright, so Blazing Torch is very good. But Torchlinger is probably a little better. These two are also fine. But Torchlinger can just kill, kill something and still be a 2-2. Bloodgast! What? And the Hex Mage and Crypt Tripper? Wow! Wow. Okay, so we can take the Hex Mage, which is very good. Or another Bow, which is also very nice. Or the Crypt Tripper. All of these creatures are very good. Because we have two uh, health... Well, I do not know. Wow. This is hard. But this is like three tickets, I think. I'm not going to take it because of... Because... Uh, it's not worth enough to take. I guess I just take the bow. We want to play a lot of mountains anyway. And bow is just very good. Okay, we'll just take the bow. Ooh. Alright, so we can take another 6 drop. That deals with creatures. We only have 3 allies though. I guess we just take the cell sword. I mean, it's a 3 3 for 4 that can become bigger, so yeah. Um, 
nothing for us here this is a very very good card we're not gonna play mindless null I guess we just cut this fist ah. we don't have vampires I'll just cut spell pierce I mean not cut just take it because maybe it's it's playable in modern I guess we don't and we don't have anything better to pick here sure I just cut this this guy this deck is full of power might cut some of the clan kill um, allies we have four allies right let's put these two here Ooh, we could take that magma rift is actually fine alright so we can just cut these three allies and maybe even all of these four and play like vampire's bite fourteen creatures that's fine and ten eight like ten mountains for the two spire barrage and the two molten ravagers and then eight swamps for the double card, double black cards and also just to get to seven and also to sacrifice for magma rift and for the two geopids that's fine all right I think this is pretty much the deck pretty much pretty cool so I think it's I think it's good mm. wow this guy should not be here how the heck this shepherd of the lost wield Ooh, I guess we just take the expedition maybe we'll play it it's a sideboard card So let's say this one is here. Okay, we don't have a lot of two drops, which kind of sucks. The deck is just full of power, so that's good. I think Spire Barrage is going to be okay with 10 mountains. And we have some evasion with the Trust Machete. Um, sure, this is actually a decent sideboard card. This deck seems pretty good. At least pretty good. Maybe I did some, maybe I took some picks that weren't, um, ideal. I didn't play Zendikar for a long time. But I think this deck is actually pretty good. Jeez. It just seems like white was open. All right. I think this is pretty much the deck. Um. Sure. Maybe we'll play it. Maybe. Just close this WhatsApp. Um, we have some decent options in the side, but I think this is this is the deck. Again, like run ten mountains, eight swamps. Sure.